So welcome, I thought we would do a pick a card reading and this is in honor of Mercury retrograde. You know, retrogrades are a great time for closing out past chapters. Basically those chapters are open back up. That could be um, an ex coming back. That could be someone that maybe you were never in a relationship with. You guys were just talking. They will hit you up again. I mean, this is a great way to not only get closure, but you could also kind of rekindle something and um, move forward with like a new perspective on a completely different path, um, either with that person or without that person. So today um, I wanted to make a pick a card. I couldn't figure out if I wanted to do it by our signs um but in a in order for me to like channel this i thought it was better if i could tap into your energy so whichever um basically a little crystal or sage that you basically resonate with i'll have the timestamps down below but um our first stack is amber so amber is an absolutely gorgeous crystal um, i feel like it doesn't get enough love amber is amazing for purifying out negative energies and basically making them into light and love also when it comes to us just as people this crystal can basically rejuvenate you um, you'd use it in healing like your sacral chakra and your solar plexus so it brings joy and pleasure and confidence it's a really awesome stone and um or i guess it's more of a resin but um i feel like it doesn't get enough love so i had to bring it out today so that's pile one pile two is black tourmaline so black tourmaline is more of a protection stone this stone is great for taking all of those negative uh, energies impurities and basically just sucking them out of your life this is great if you are doing root chakra healing our root chakra has to do with our sense of belonging um, feel like we are where we need to be and your sense of security and so you feeling safe and secure as a person but also safe and secure in your relationships so if you feel called to this stone then you are with group two for group three, group three is a bundle of sage. We have some rose petals on top, some dried roses. So sage is great for purifying your energy, your aura. You could use this around your house. You could use this on your body um, or any objects. It basically banishes any energy that no longer serves you, completely zaps it, sucks it out. Um, and yeah, just leaves you feeling refreshed and balanced and grounded. So we have a lot of grounding energies here. And so I hope to keep our energy nice and pure during this reading, um, because you know, it can get a little, um, interesting <laughs> talking about exes or people from your past, but just know that this reading is going to help you, um, get some closure and, or maybe even help you to understand maybe their side of the story and what was really going on. So those things that were never said. So I think this is great if you are no longer in contact with this person and just us figuring out, will you guys, like will they reach out to you during this time? And is there even room to basically make things better or maybe just to get an apology? So we're gonna start with group one and then we will move on to these other groups at your time stamp. So hello, group one, Amber. It's funny because I also felt called to the Amber. So I'm very excited to see um, what these cards have for us. Our first card is the Five of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I guess I'll, well, I have to see what these say. <laughs> we have the Knight of Chalices. I haven't seen it yet. We have the Queen of Wands. Oh my gosh, we have the King of Swords and we have Judgment. So right off the bat, I guess I'll just kind of get ahead of myself um, and tell you guys that I definitely do see something happening over this next, just this Mercury retrograde. Um, I think Mercury retrograde ends the end of June. So within these next couple of weeks, we start out with the Five of Cups. Now this reading is more for your person. So it's like if we were a fly on the wall, what's going on in their head. Five of Cups is one of loss and of sadness, but thankfully it is, I would say one of the more positive cards because they do still have hope and so right now i definitely think they're in their head about this like you're definitely still on their mind with this um well i guess i'll show you guys the cards so we have the five of cups you know this is definitely one of you know i missed out i messed up um you know they're not over it thankfully um this is like the perfect i don't want to say the perfect breakup card but it is one of not yet being over the situation so whether they are an ex or just someone that you are talking to um thankfully in the in the rider weight there are two cups 
behind the person but you can tell that they're all being sad about the three cups that are knocked over when there's two perfectly good cups behind them and so this is a really good energy just of i can still make it work if i can just get over this feeling of basically just remorse um with the knight of pentacles I can tell that this person is not moving as quickly as you want them to. The Knight of Pentacles, he definitely kind of trudges along, he takes his time. So if you are dealing with someone like an earth sign or if you're dealing with a water sign, um, in my mind right now I have, I'm thinking of a Taurus or I'm thinking of for the water sign a Scorpio. Um, I don't know if someone who's watching this is dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio, but for some reason that energy is like really coming up. But for them, they really have to think on this. Like, they're analyzing the situation from every single aspect you can think of. It might take them a bit to finally like reach a conclusion, like to finally make up their mind on what to do about this situation. Here we have the Knight of Cups, which is a very, very amazing card to get when we're talking about um, someone coming back or just talking to you again because i think this reading is more of you guys aren't really talking you guys aren't on the same level that you were but yet you are still on their mind and so i think this person is just taking their time to go over whatever details of you guys falling out i'm not sure if you had a fallout or if you guys just kind of drifted apart but um they're definitely trying to figure out how to approach you in a way that I think you will accept them. Because here we have the Queen of Wands. This directly reflects you. Queen of Wands is a very attractive woman. She's very attractive. She's usually pretty happy. Like you made them very happy when you guys were together. But also like she's, she's pretty passionate. <laughs> Um, so their thoughts on you as far as you guys being intimate together, you know, kissing, cuddling, like you definitely get them going, but also at the same time, the Queen of Wands, she can be a little intimidating just because like she is that girl that they would want to be with. Like she is that girl that they would want to show off to their friends that they would be proud of. But if he's feeling a little insecure, um, which with Five of Cups, and then the knight of pentacles he's really mulling this over then of course he has to work up basically his courage to basically offer you something that you're actually going to take here we have the knight of swords this directly reflects him right now he's trying to come at this with logic so when he does finally talk to you it's probably going to feel like where, where did this come from because it's not going to be overly like um, him beating around the bush he's going to say whatever he has to say you guys are probably going to have just i think a, a breakthrough moment um the last card we have so the last card is judgment whatever the outcome is just know if you guys do decide to work on things and to get closer or if you guys do decide that this isn't really worth fighting for um this is going to end the cycle so if it is, yes, we are going to get together, then just know that from here on out, by the end of this Mercury retrograde, you guys will be working towards building your relationship back up. Um, and if it isn't meant to be, then just know things are going to fall apart pretty quickly. Judgment is a great card for you finally just getting answers and not having to worry about this person, having to think about them, have to do tarot card readings on them. Um, I know it's it's a struggle sometimes, especially when you guys aren't talking anymore, to try to figure out what went wrong and what's going to happen in the future. So just know you're finally going to get your answers. Um, but as far as for them coming back, for you guys actually talking, um, it's definitely going to happen. I'm not sure if you guys have them blocked on social media or anything, um, but I would definitely unblock them. I would definitely have the door open for you to be approached because I can tell that they are a little... Um, hesitant like you know they're a little insecure and so the knight of pentacles like he is slow moving and it might feel like this person is taking forever but i do want you to be patient with them and just understand the way that they see you as the queen of wands she is a very strong woman i mean she is very um i would say just exciting and uh, she's worth having and so they don't just see you as some fling um you know they definitely still do care about you so it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Like I said, you guys have until the end of June for this Mercury retrograde, for this energy to culminate. And um, I think it'll be really cool to see 
how this all works out. So group one, that was your reading. I'm about to move on to group two. Um, if you felt called to more than one um, stone, or if you were called to the sage, then definitely stay tuned and watch those readings as well. So hello, group two, you picked the black tourmaline. I love this. So let's see what your cards are. I've not yet seen them. The first one we have Ace of Wands. Then we have the Tower. We have the Six of Cups. Oh my gosh. Then we have the Fool. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, this is a lot going on here, guys. This is a lot going on. Um, wow. Ace of Wands. I'm not sure if this was a relationship. So if, so this reading is more towards um, whomever you're inquiring about. So this is going to be their energy mostly, not really your energy. So just keep that in mind. So for the Ace of Wands, you guys were definitely um, together romantically. Like this definitely isn't something that just started out and you guys didn't get to it yet. So um, if you guys have not yet been intimate, if you had not if you guys have not yet, you know, kissed or you haven't yet made love, then um, this definitely isn't your reading and maybe there is another stone that you resonated with, but this is definitely for people who you had an intimate relationship with this person. Um, this was very hot and heavy. It was very steamy. I'm not sure if you guys got intimate quicker than you should have. Like maybe things you felt like, um, or he felt like things definitely moved pretty quickly, but it definitely was one of those just like synchronistic type um get togethers like everything just felt right and i think that's why things got so physical so quickly here we have the tower um you know the tower is just something upended you guys like something just came in and destroyed things i'm not sure if there was an outside party either on your side like someone coming back into your life or something someone coming back into their life but this did not end like i don't want to say it didn't end well but it didn't just fizzle away you know how sometimes you'll talk with someone and you, then all of a sudden you guys will just like kind of grow distant well that definitely didn't happen here um there was definitely some type of altercation some type of situation where it, this just happened abruptly like out of nowhere and it rocked you guys so you guys definitely aren't probably talking right now <laughs> um at all so now we have the six of cups you know this is a good energy for just reminiscing and thinking about the past you definitely are still on their mind but then i have the energy of the fool afterwards so with the fool energy i get that they they tried to start over again without you like they tried to go see other people they tried to get back out there they tried to get over you like they tried a fresh start um and it didn't work we're met with the four of swords like that whole second chance i'm gonna do it without them it just didn't work um you are really really heavily on their mind i don't really know if they'll take action towards you with this six of cups this is the cup of or this is the card of reunions of like you know an ex coming back so usually it is i mean i'm gonna ask for a clarifier just because the energy is so chaotic <laughs> And so I'm going to ask for a clarifier in this reading. Um, I didn't have to for my first reading, but we will here. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune. So with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a card of good luck. Um, but you have to understand it's usually going from one type of luck to the other. This is like very faded events. Like things just kind of culminating and just coming together out of nowhere. There's no rhyme or reason. This is just fate is at hand here. Fate is at play. Um, so whatever is going to be is going to be like I said usually this is a very positive card if this was like a negative spread then this could definitely be read in your relationship or your guys' situationship going around and around and around um, as quickly as things fell apart I think this person could come back into your life like and pretty quickly too because I don't know there's just there's such a heavy energy of just fate um, and then there was like all the synchronicity from like the ace of wands um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the clarifier Just know that if this person 
does contact you again and if things do start to uh, i don't know they just feel positive if it feels right you need to trust yourself you need to trust your intuition with the wheel of fortune in i'm about to get a clarifier but with the wheel of fortune being in um you know the outcome position it would mean that your luck is changing for the better so that whole tower moment you guys had you're not going to deal with that anymore because like you guys have already gone through your doom and gloom it would be on the up and up like i said let me shuffle really quick just to get a clarifier clarify for outcome energy energy oh my gosh okay so yeah we have we have two of wands so i'm so excited um so two of wands guys this is the card of teamwork and partnership this is like you guys coming together to work on things but you guys both working on them like you're both giving equally so it's not one person giving more one person chasing so when you guys do because with the six of cups now i definitely feel like you know there is a reunion coming when this does happen if things do feel right don't second guess yourself um get out of your own way whatever the tower moment was just know if you want to put that behind you you really can you have a lot of very auspicious cards in your outcome position and if you guys want to work on it you know all you have to do is say when because I mean, I feel like they, they want to and, and they already tried to live without you. They already tried to do the whole get over you thing and it just didn't work. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love like when, when spirit like gives us like these little hints like, oh, I'm off on a new adventure. And then it's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you're back on the bed thinking about her. Um, you know, he's, you know, he's deep in his thoughts. So yeah this was a really great reading if you do want that closure from this person whether this was a relationship or it was just a situationship whatever um i definitely see a second um a second coming and so i can't wait to see uh, mercury retrograde ends the end of june and so this all is going to culminate pretty quickly so you're not going to be left wondering um i would definitely say leave the door open i don't i don't see you having to be on your guard with this person so if you guys do have a reunion i want you to look at them with new eyes and a new light and from a new perspective um and don't hold the past against them so okay so i'm gonna move on to the third group which was the sage if you felt called to the sage bundle as well then obviously just keep on watching okay hello group three so if you felt called towards the sage then this is your reading i'm so excited to see what we have our first card is the knight of wands our second card is the four of pentacles Ooh. then we have the hierophant the star the king of wands oh my gosh so you have the king of wands twice and then our last card is the five of pentacles so i can already tell i'm gonna have to pick a clarifier um but for right now king of wands um we definitely might be dealing with a fire sign um or you might have fire heavy in your chart um for this reading this is more of their energy and what's going on in their head as if we're flies on the wall so with king of wands um he definitely was pursuing you pretty heavy like he was a very confident guy he seemed really sure of himself uh <laughs> i think he enjoyed the per just pursuing you <laughs> uh, just overall in general here we have the four of pentacles um for someone that you are no longer talking to because this reading is more for people who want someone from the past to come back um you are still like on his mind like he's holding on to you like the four of pentacles this guy in the rider weight he has four of the coins and he has each coin like underneath like his foot one's on his head um he's holding on to one like he's just really holding on to it with all his might and so i don't know what happened i don't because i can't i'm not picking up your energy this is more of a reading for his energy but he didn't want this to end so i'm not sure if you walked away actually i am pretty sure i i feel like you did something like you gave up on this um the next card is the hierophant he did want something serious um and i think he still does well i won't say i think i i definitely think i definitely know i feel like 100 percent he still wants something serious he did want commitment i don't know if you guys got scared and you ran away from him because he was being too i don't want to say uh, aggressive but maybe you felt like he was too good to be true or you're going to get hurt maybe you have some unresolved issues but um 
I don't know, I, I definitely feel like you're the one who pumped the brakes on this and I'm not sure why, of course, because I don't have your energy. The star, this is ones of hopes and wishes. This is also the sign of Aquarius. So I'm picking up heavy, heavy fire in this reading. Heavy fire and we'll throw in Aquarius. Maybe someone has an Aquarius moon or something. Um, but with these hopes and wishes, he is hoping to get back together. Like he is hoping to make this work out. We have the King of Wands again. Um, the King of Wands goes after what he wants. Like he started like pursuing you and he probably you know got to know you he put in the time and he just kind of from there just latched on and just went all the way like the king of wands doesn't half-ass do things excuse my french like when he wants someone he goes for it he gets to know them in every single way and he puts in the time so the last card we have is the five of pentacles this energy and i'm gonna get a clarifier but i i just get the energy of you, I feel, so there's two different ways this, this can be read. Um, because I'm channeling this intuitively, for right now, I feel like you definitely walked away and um, something got tough. I don't know if there was something to do with your finances or his finances, but um, traditionally, when I read this in love readings, traditionally, this is read as two people staying together through thick and thin so even when things get hard so if this was like um a money type reading if this was a reading about business this would mean obviously losses or illness um but for love it, it usually is you guys you know staying together through the hardship but for this reading specifically with the energy i'm picking up this is just someone kind of turning their back um i'm gonna get a clarifier just for your guys's outcome what's in um, the future. Clarifier for just outcome energy. You guys, this, this person like likes you a lot. Like, just a lot. They're, they're not over it. They're still holding on to it, even though you guys aren't talking. Um, I'm not sure why you guys aren't talking, but. Clarifier. Aww. <laughs> Okay, Ace of Cups. Um, Ace of Cups is just, it, it's a very loving energy. It's fresh beginnings, new starts, and love. If you guys want this new start, let me see what's on the bottom. We have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. Oh, wow. It's like you putting in the effort and just getting it right, like having like a sturdy foundation, something that you're going to, I mean, it, it's long-term relationship type energy. Um, if you guys want this new start with them, just know that they are open to it. They are more than open to it. Nothing has changed for them. This Four of Pentacles, they are still just as much into you as they were when you guys were still talking. Um, I wish I would have pulled cards on your energy just to get um, an idea of why you walked away. Was it fear? Um, did you get sidetracked with something else? What's going on in your life? But for them, um, if you're a fly on the wall, this is what's going on with them. And um, I mean, even if you were to reach out to them, you know, with the other readings, it could go either way. They could reach out to the other people or the other people that I give the reading for, they could reach out to their person. But for this one, if you want to just go ahead and just say hi and just, you know, break the ice, um, I think this could actually end up working out pretty well for you if, if you want it. Um, this is definitely the ball is in your court type of energy. Alright, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.